And joining us now is R. Kelly's uh, former attorney, Steve Greenberg. Good morning. Good morning. Is there evidence that these girls were underage at the time these acts were taking place on videotape? Well, look, I, I haven't said in the trial, the prosecutors have put forth what they believe the evidence is going to establish. The defense has been very vigorous in cross-examining. Uh, and now we've heard from McDavid, who says, I was there at the time. These people were not underage. Uh, people looked into it. We had investigators. We had attorneys. People were making false accusations against R. Kelly. Uh, there was a billboard where they advertised, come extort R. Kelly, essentially. Uh, so I think there's a real question as to whether people were underage. Ultimately, the jury's going to see the evidence, uh, watch the video, hear the witnesses, and they'll make that decision. How do you think the defense is doing so far? They uh, we're seeing evidence of these tapes and we're hearing heart wrenching witness testimony. Uh, how do you think the defense is doing combating that? I don't I don't know if it's heart wrenching, because if you look at all of it on direct, it might be heart wrenching. And then on cross examination, you might find out that it's not true. Like one young lady who uh, claimed that she was underage when she met R. Kelly but she had no phone records speaking to him in the year she claimed she was underage. Those started the next year. And, and the person at the event that uh, she said she met him at came and said and testified for the defense that, in fact, R. Kelly wasn't even at the event where the girl said she met him. So our heart wrenching is a little, little, you know, in the eyes of the beholder, I guess, is the best way to put it. I think the defense is doing a great job. Uh, the judge, to his credit, is letting them ask the questions that need to be asked. And the jurors get to see the witnesses. As I said, the prosecution asks the questions on direct. This is what they believe. The defense asks questions on cross. And then the jury evaluates it all and makes a decision. We talked to uh, an attorney for one of the victims. At one, I'm trying to remember. I, and I believe he said that on the tape, the girl says she's 14 years old. Is that the only way to really confirm evidence in this case? And if that's, that is the case, regardless of who lied about what and uh, whether it was consensual, it doesn't matter if she's underage, correct? Well, if she's underage, she's underage. But again, you know, this is a, a witness who has said for years and years and years, it's not me on the tape. Her mm -hmm. parents said, it's not me on the tape. Now they're coming and they're saying something different. Again, you've got two different sets of statements. And the earlier statements that it was not her on the tape were all made under oath. They were made before grand juries. There were statements to investigators. Uh, so the jury, again, is going to have to evaluate that. I don't think you can just say because she said something on a tape, mm. it's necessarily true. For God's sake, on every TV show we watch, people are saying things that aren't true. Are you in contact with the defense at all, or are you involved with the defense team at all and any and, and level? And have you been in contact with R. Kelly? Look, I, I love Robert. I still represent Robert on the state court cases that are pending here in Illinois. I first introduced him to his uh, current defense lawyer and, and talked to them all the time. I'll do anything I can to help. I think that this is a case that never should have been brought. These issues were all decided by a jury. Whether you disagree with the, what that jury did uh, back in the state trial or not, that jury decided it. This is motivated by a, a so-called documentary, which wasn't really a documentary. And, and I hope he wins the case. All right, Steve Greenberg, we thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. It is 808 developing this morning. Queen Elizabeth is under medical supervision.